Hi, this is Shun from Celsius. You might know me from our past webinars. Hello, this is Alex from Celsius. Um, first time on the channel. And today we're here for a new kind of video where we'll be going over the new recent announcements about Clip Studio Paint version 2.0. We will not be showing anything uh, new here that was not in the announcement last week, but we hope to go over what was in the announcement in case you missed some of the details. We also have answers to questions that you might have at the end. So if we didn't address any questions that you still have, then we definitely want to follow up with you by answering it in any of our channels. So please make sure to leave your questions as a comment on this video. And let us know if having a video like this uh, was helpful to you. Um, we want you guys to be civil to each other because we have the chat live now. Uh, we will also be moderating it, so say hi. The initial August announcement about version 2 was the first time it was announced, and we got a lot of very passionate feedback on it. We have now changed some details to make version 2.0 more accessible. First off, if you have purchased version 1 anytime in 2022, you will get version 2.0 for free. This version 2.0 will be a perpetual license, meaning you can keep using it without any additional payments. Secondly, a lot of people wanted to keep using their version 1 licenses for as long as possible. So we are going to be providing stability updates past the release of version 3. So now when version 3 comes out, everyone can be excited to see what new features await them and uh, decide if they want to go from version 1 to version 3. Uh, and now you get to decide at your own pace because you're not going to have to worry about uh, guaranteed stability. Also, previously, there weren't any options for a one-time purchase upgrade from version 1 to version 2.0 but now we've added it and you will be able to upgrade your version at a discount. Later, we'll show you a list of all the pricings, um, just in case you didn't catch them in our initial announcement. We also announced a new program for students and other accepted applicants to try out version 2.0. We'll be releasing more information on this um, from February. So make sure to keep an eye out for that and to check out if you can apply for the program itself. Even if you're not part of this feedback program, we also want to hear your thoughts. Uh, so please send us your feedback through the channels that we mentioned before and also through our support page where we also take feedback and suggestions. It's a little bit more direct. Now let's get to the features of version 2.0. You might have heard that version 2.0 is coming out in March 2023. Uh, we announced some details in our latest announcement. Um, so what's going to change in version 2.0? Because uh, if you read the announcement, then you know that we announced there'd be no major UI changes or um, major feature changes. But we did have a list of different functions that were coming to the program um, in the announcement. So we'll go over the what was written there. So starting off, if you use any of the languages here, so simplified Chinese, Portuguese, Thai, and Indonesian, you'll be happy to know that we will be adding support for these languages in 2.0. We've also been slowly releasing new 3D related features in our past updates. Uh, for 2.0, we will be going deeper into drawing 3D figure uh, into the 3D draw, really drawing figures. So here we have a preview of the new 3D head model. You'll be able to change the proportions um, in order to make a more stylized base. By default, this will include a realistic head, a chibi head, an anime head, and even a skeleton. So you'll be able to adjust them freely uh, to match your own needs. Yeah, here you can see the different sliders for all the little adjustments that you can do for head shape, eyes, nose, eyebrows, ears, and mouth. So if you have a character that you're drawing um, over and over again, uh, you can save the proportions for that character uh, and use it as a reference for later. And also, if you're like me, drawing hands can be a challenge. So it would be really helpful to have someone else's hands to pose Well. Of course, we have the 3D models for that, but now you have to pose the hand um, by yourself. With this hand pose scanner, 
you can use the live um, capture video footage to change the model in real time and then use that to do your drawing. So many people have asked in the past for us to upgrade or improve our text tool. And in version 2.0, we'll be adding new features uh, to meet those requests. Not only will, be, will you be able to have more control over your text itself, but you'll also be able to control the position of multiple objects with the align and distribute feature. So you can select um, different objects like in this slide and do everything that you would be able to do um, with the, I mean, the UI is a little small, but you can see the different align functions. Yeah. You'll be able to align them up cleanly and very efficiently. So yeah. hope that saves time for a lot of people. And then also uh, we are featuring this automatic shading tool. I think it looks super cool. Um, now we have uh, something to help you with coloring, uh, colorize. This will help you with shading. Uh, you can control the little orb of light to show where the light is coming from, and then it will generate um, these shadows like in this little video. Uh, so hopefully that will be super helpful for you. We also have different webtoon features um, and things for scrolling comics where you can change the amount of white space and the gradient um, more easily so you can control the time flow. Uh, a lot of people were excited uh, when we added the mixing palette in our latest update, but there was a lot of feedback that they were disappointed. The colors were a bit muddy uh, and not realistic. Uh, in version 2.0, we will be introducing um, improved color blending, so the results will be a lot more closer to what you would expect. And here um, are some other features that we announced in last week's announcement. Uh, background saving, the spin blur filter, uh, filter for lens distortion, and also liquify on multiple layers, and uh, more to be announced. Uh, did you say anything that looked exciting for you? Um, not being a good uh, shader myself, not good at being good at shading, I am very much looking forward to the auto shading uh, feature. Um, I hope I can learn a lot from it. Uh, yeah, and just improve overall with my shading. <laughs> yeah. I, I said shading. Yeah. yeah. Um, get it to shade for you. It's, it's very nice. Yeah. But I think that the one I'm most interested in uh, is the realistic color blending because uh, I've been trying to do a lot of non-linear work uh, recently, more painting type stuff, mm -hmm. and I think that this will come in handy for that. Mm -hmm. We have also revealed the prices and options uh, in the announcement. So it's something to keep in mind when version 2.0 comes out. You will not need to upgrade to version 2.0. You can continue to use version 1 uh, on your computer, uh, and that will never change. So we know now that there are a lot of options, and they can be a bit confusing. So here we've broken down how to get version 2.0, so how the update pass will affect you. So if you are a new user, you will get a version 2.0 perpetual license for free. This also includes six months of an update pass that you can activate whenever you want. So if there's a feature that you would like to try out in version 2, you can activate your update pass um, and try it out. Please be careful that if you do not want to continue using the update pass after six months, you need to cancel it before it expires. So if for version one users, if you bought your license in 2022, you will get a version 2.0 perpetual license for free. If you did not buy it in 2022, you can choose from a discounted update to version 2.0. This will be a one-time upgrade or you can purchase an update pass. For monthly and annual plan users, uh, you will get access to all of the latest updates with no price change. So the, there will be no, uh, you will not be affected by the update pass. Um, and so as uh, Shane just said, um, if you don't have it now and then you buy Clip Studio, you get um, six months free of the update pass to try out. 
And uh, here is what we had posted about the release of version 3.0. A lot of people have been wondering about when it would come out. Uh, it was in the announcement the other day. So here it is. And it will also be available as a one-time purchase. So you can uh, figure out if you like version 2.0, you can get that. Um, if you want the updates in between, you can uh, get that. Uh, if you want version 3, you can also get that. So you can do what you would like to do um, in terms of different types of purchasing of plans. So after the announcement the other day, uh, there were a lot of questions coming in from social media, various channels. Uh, the announcement had a lot of stuff in it. So we're going to go through some of the questions that we can answer today. Uh, first question, what will file compatibility be like between version 1 and version 2? So yes, you will be able to open and edit files made in version 2 with version 1. Will we be able to use assets and cloud services on version 1 even after version 2 is released? Yes, you will be able to use these services even after version 2 has been released. Will the discounted price for version 1.0 owners remain forever? Uh, you will be able to purchase a discounted upgrade while version 2.0 is on sale. Will there be a one-time discounted upgrade price for version 1 to version 3? Uh, right now, we don't have any plans to do so. Uh, we will provide the discounted upgrade price from the prior version. Do I need the perpetual license and update pass for version 2.0? No, you do not need to buy both. Uh, you will need the update pass for access to version 2.1 and beyond. You said that people who purchased version 1 in 2022 will get version 2.0. Does that include version 1 upgrade purchases? Uh, yes, this will include uh, upgrades. So I think that a common situation would be uh, if you were pro and then you went to EX. Uh, if you did it this year, then you would be included in this. Uh, so that wraps it up for our little FAQ today. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to send those and we'll keep you updated on any new information as we get closer to the release of version 2.0. And that is all for this video. Uh, if you want to look at the announcements that we kept referring to, the links are down in the description below. So check that out. And uh, thank you again for taking your time to watch this video. Uh, I hope this cleared up uh, any questions that you have. And lastly, we hope that you continue to enjoy creating with Clip Studio Paint and that you enjoy the next and final version one update that's coming out in December. Thank Hi. you.